Hi, I'm Keith Wyness. I'm Chief Executive of Aston Villa. Well, all week it's a very varied position. I've always said that being a Chief Executive of a football club is unlike any other position because some days I'm in charge of merchandise, some days I'm in charge of catering, some days I'm in charge of property deals, other days it's pitch maintenance, uh, sometimes it's, it's personnel negotiations. So you really cover everything uh, as a Chief Executive of a football club. They are, it's like a mini country all by itself. Uh, and that's one of the great challenges I enjoy and the experience I've got. On a match day, it can vary, uh, it really can. Depends on any issues that are surrounding the match itself. There could be security issues, etc. we have to check in on. Um, or there could be you know, the opposing directors, there's always football politics to discuss, uh, different things to talk about there. Speak to the manager, uh, see what's happening with the team, any issues with the players at the last minute, and really just be prepared for the unexpected. We've also got to obviously be prepared from a security angle on any eventuality. And that's one of my main priorities on the match day is making sure everybody's safe. We have fan consultation groups um, where all the major uh, fan websites and blogs get together. But also individually I tend to try and see different groups of fans or journalists uh, so that I'm kept in touch and keeping in touch with the, sort of the pulse of the club and what's happening really on the street. Yeah, on a match day as well, one of the key things that we do is uh, entertain uh, a lot of politicians and dignitaries as well. It's surprising how much business is done in the boardroom and how important it is still for people to be able to come into the boardroom and get that experience of uh, being a VIP. At Villa Park we have one of the greatest boardrooms and so we're very lucky to have that uh, opportunity. Uh, and we've had the great and the good come through Villa Park and that's something that we've got a unique edge for in terms of, um, in terms of the club. Uh, today we've got the, uh, some of the key people from uh, Birmingham City Council coming discussing uh, the plans of redevelopment around, around Villa Park and we never miss an opportunity to use that to our advantage and make sure that we have either you know, celebrities from uh, showbiz or business or politics uh, and we use that really to the benefit of the club in every way we can do. Villa Park is fantastic, I mean it is majestic, uh, it's, it's a great stadium. Uh, my obvious comparison is Goodison uh, at Everton, which also has its own charm um, as an older stadium, but Villa Park is without doubt uh, the palace of football stadiums and we want to make it even better. And uh, now I'm very, very proud to work in this environment. Yeah, I, I do have superstitions. Um, I've kept a, a programme and a piece of a, a match sheet in my pocket um, and I only keep the ones that matches that we've won. And so gradually that pocket gets bulkier and bulkier hopefully this season. Uh, but it is a superstition and it's something I've done every season and every season I've done it there's been a winning season at the football clubs I've been at. So uh, it's a strange one but that's something I do. I also have a pair of lucky socks and uh, I've picked them for certain matches and they've never let me down yet so far this season so uh, I've got to keep them on. I think the biggest challenge is that we've had probably three or four years of the club spiralling downwards and the biggest challenge is to change that whole culture in the club and to get people believing we can win again in every aspect of the club, not just on the pitch but off the pitch. I want to see the club leading the way in new technologies and right back at the cutting edge. So it's changing that whole mindset and getting people to believe that we can be right back at the front again. Well, it's obviously the uh, no secret that we have to get back up to the Premiership. Uh, we've always said we're going to try and have three phases, one to get up, then one to stay up, and then one to really push on. And I think that's still the plan. And uh, myself and Dr Tony, we've got some big plans for the club going forward. So uh, there's no doubt we want to establish us as one of the biggest clubs in the world, and we really mean that. <laughs>